Hey yo guys, welcome back for part two with Down and Dirty with the Dirty Wap Boy. So let's answer the question of what is the greatest tag match in history? The greatest tag match in history in my mind is probably one of the old matches from the 80s would be the Russians which is Ivan and Nikita Koloff versus the Legion of Doom. Just by the fact that the Russians were like the first team that actually could go against the Legion of Doom and it turned the Legion of Doom into faces and they never changed ever since pretty much. So that's what I would say on that. Four more questions from the MD Radicals. Boy, these guys are hardcore. Do you think John Cena is the most overrated wrestler in the whole WWE roster? Probably. I mean, there are a lot of guys on there that I think are overrated, but still, I think John Cena is way overrated, especially by the young E Marks who think he's awesome when he just has like five moves. I mean, look up to Punk or HBK or. Well, what is an angle, but he's in the wrong company. Just look up to anyone else other than Cena or your basic main eventers now, except for HBK. Uh, who f from the Raw roster would you like to... Oh, wait, that's the wrong question. Uh, who from... Oh, that was right. Who from the Raw roster would you like to see as World Heavyweight Champion? Well, the guy would be Edge, and he, he is officially from the Raw roster, and that's on the SmackDown roster. He's the only, the WWE would be the right choice making Edge that type of champion. I honestly think that's the only good move they're going to pull off this year. Has John Cena screwed up the belt with the jewelry and the spinner? Hell yeah, because now the fans are getting, that are getting into wrestling, they're not going to know what the great old title used to look like from the pre-attitude era. Like, they're not going to know what that belt meant and looked like. Now it looks like a piece of shit that belongs in a rap video or something. I mean, John Cena and his bling bling sideshow. I mean, just disgusting what they did with that belt. Horrible. <clears throat> and their last question is, uh, has John Cena been the worst idea as the World Heavyweight Champion? He has. That would be a terrible idea. I mean... He, he, he was the worst idea they ever pulled because he has no in-ring talent. He, by the way, he's WWE champion. Uh, excuse me, those questions were from the bitch of the year. Excuse me for that. That's my fault. Anyway, moving along. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> uh, from the 1995 Royal Rumble, who do you consider the greatest tag team of all time? I already answered that today in my original vids. It's the Legion of Doom, hands down. Just watch those vids and you'll find out. What do you think? What I know, What do you think was the greatest steel cage match or Hell in a Cell match of all time? Uh, the greatest Hell in a Cell match or or Hell in a Cell match was greatest Hell in a Cell match is HBK versus Undertaker. That's the first one. Greatest cage match versus Bret Hart, SummerSlam '94. I mean, you guys have seen my review of that pay per view, so that's that. And should the Ultimate Warrior be in the Hall of Fame? No, the Ultimate Warrior should not be in the Hall of Fame. The Ultimate Warrior just had great intensity in his entrances and just cared about making money. I mean, he had no talent. He doesn't belong in there. Neither does John Cena or Batista. And they're, John Cena and Batista probably will, but Ultimate Warrior, no. And because Vince McMahon is the Ultimate Warrior. So, no. Nikki Goo 32 What do you think is the best entrance music of all time? The best entrance music of all time? Well, I have... Two. One, hands down, Razor Ramon. When those tires squealing, and then Razor coming out like, doo -doo, ding, doo -doo, doo -doo, ding, ding, ding. Great stuff there. And also Austin, especially when Austin came out to fight Bret Hart, WrestleMania 13 with the glass, the Austin 316 glass shattering. That's, I would use that music today. Um, do you think Kali could win? If not, how will Cena win? STFU, I don't know. Uh, I don't care, really. I mean, I would hope Cena win, just because we don't want Kali champion. I mean, that's the only match I don't care about. And it's the world title. And I don't give a fuck. And do you think the WWE should bring back to the... Do you think the WWE should bring back the King of the Ring? I personally do, because when they had the brand split, it was actually a good concept. You had your guys from SmackDown qualify and make it to the pay-per-view, and then they would go up against Raw guys. It was a great concept. I mean, they couldn't do it now with ECW, but ECW is going to be done by Christmas, so don't worry about it. And it should definitely replace One Night Stand, which is now getting ridiculous. So that's my thoughts. And the last questions today are from Dante Savage. If you were to create a new stipulation or entire match type, 
what would it be? Now, you guys, you true wrestling fans are going to be pissed off with mine. Mine's for Divas. Match in the shower. Shower match. I don't know. I just see the 14-year-old kids saying, oh, yeah, and the horny old man. Oh, it's not up yet. Yeah. That's what it would be. I just don't know why, but that would be it. It's too hard to create a new stipulation, really, for, like, the true wrestling fans. Question two from Dante Savage. When was the greatest time to be a wrestling fan? Was it the very old days, the 80s, the late 90s, or now? I'm going to say the 80s, the very late 80s, because that's when wrestling exploded and the WWF ran roughshod over anything. I mean, that was the cool thing to do, watch wrestling. Now it's just like, you watch wrestling, you're a faggot. Well, no, at that time it was like, okay, let's watch it. Hulk Hogan's the man. So that's why. And you had, like, WWF was on, like, would replace Saturday Night, I mean, Saturday Night Live. Like, come on. That's the greatest time to be a fan. And the last question from Dante Savage, which was Robocop and WCW, Vince as ECW champion, The Shockmaster, David Arquette as WCW champion, or Stevie Ray? Well, it's going to have to be the two champion ones combined, David Arquette as champ and Vince McMahon as champ. I mean, The Shockmaster was shit because of his debut, but I guess if he didn't fuck up, it would have been way better. Robocop was pretty dumb, but at least they didn't bring him back. Uh, it's going to have to be David Arquette or Vince Vince McMahon is just pretty much wiping his ass with the ECW title and the legacy of that company. And David Arquette as champion was just pretty much for that piece of shit movie right here. Which I will get to at a later date. I really hate this fucking movie. So I think it's those two combined. Because it just insulted uh, the true wrestling fans like you and me, Dante Savage. So anyway, thanks for the... Uh, I'm going to probably come back and give you guys a video on who to watch on YouTube just like Mark P did. So anyways, I'm out for now. Going to get some